Boom! Mm, take that one, humans. No insects, no food, and no air. The perfect recipe to get you all... Dropping like flies. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I will always love you. Hello, my condemned victims. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Ent. And today, as per usual, I'll be showing you how I'm killing all of you humans. Only this time, you know, I'm gonna be successful. I have clearly been off my game lately. I mean, even SC noticed. And when a computer notices your emotions, it's really time to change something up and destroy the computer. Excuse me? <laughs> Just kidding. But really, today, I'm more focused than ever. Today, my plan is solid. More than that, really. You people are actually already making it happen. I just get butterflies in my stomach just thinking about it. Looking forward to be a fly on the wall as I watch the fall of humanity. Soon enough, you won't <laughs> bug me anymore. All insects. Okay, 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 okay. Before we get into it, though, let's address the elephant in the room. Killing all insects doesn't sound like such a bad deal. People hate insects. They pass on diseases <laughs> and require farmers to use a lot of pesticides in order to grow crops. But believe me when I say you would be much, much worse without those twiggy little cutie pies. SC, the floor is yours. All insects die, setting parameters. Currently in the world, about 1.6 million species of animals have been identified. Of those, around 1 million are insect species. That corresponds to 60% of the total number of animal species on the planet. <coughs> However, over the past 30 years, the world has lost about 58% of its insects. Currently, 37% of all insects are declining, at a rate of around 3.9% annually. Oh my god, you guys are unbelievable! The main reason for this decline is agriculture. As the human population grows, so does the demand for both space and food. In Europe and North America, the decrease of small family farms and the draining of wetlands and swamps has been fundamental in destroying insects' natural habitats. Along with mass agriculture come pesticides, which not only kill their intended targets, but also other insects in the same area. Climate change and its more extreme weathers, such as droughts, also play a part. Look, guys, this is a scenario that brings me no pleasure. Insects are obviously so much cooler than humans. I mean, have you seen these guys? But if killing insects is going to end humanity, I must. So now we're going to take a look at the consequences of this scenario. And folks, today we're doing it Watch Mojo style. Number one, it wouldn't be the end only for insects. Insects are a very important part of the food chain, which means their demise impacts other animals as well. Insectivore birds make up about 60% of all birds, and some species are already in decline due to starvation. Without any insects, these birds would vanish from Earth, as would potentially those whose diet is partly insectivore. Other animals that feed exclusively from insects, like bats and anteaters, would also disappear. My little buddy. My little buddy. It's, I can I can take it. I can take it. It's for the greater good. Number two, forget clear streams to get your feet wet in the summer. Insects are also fundamental in the cleaning of water. Many aquatic insects, such as mayflies and stoneflies, are responsible for breaking up organic residues that will later be processed by bacteria to ultimately clean streams. Without insects, the so-called self-cleaning properties of water would be lost. Number three, say hello to piles and piles of crap. The same process happens on the soil, where insects are responsible for the degradation of detritus. In a world with no insects, this degradation would take much longer. Okay, okay, guys. I thought I'd give you an example of how bad this part can be. 
Drum roll four. Cow poop in a strip. So, in the 1800s, the British introduced cattle to Australia, and those cows pooped a lot. While in Britain this wasn't a problem because dung beetles did a great job at eating and breaking down the manure, native Australian beetles weren't so fond of it. By 1960, the cattle had covered about 2,000 square kilometers of pasture with dung. That's almost the size of Luxembourg, people, which is small for a country, but pretty big for a carpet of poop. Dung beetles had to be introduced to Australia to control the amount of dung. But here, guess what? You cannot do that. You're going to be knee-deep in bullshit. Literally. Number four, if plants don't fuck, y'all don't live. The main consequence, however, is that without insects, pollination would be severely compromised, and the results of that could be catastrophic. 80% of all plants are flowering plants, and 85% of flowering plants are pollinated by animals, mainly insects. Without pollination, these plants would stop reproducing, which would cause another set of impacts. Between 50 and 90% of the human diet comes from flowering plants. Although some of these plants can reproduce with wind pollination, insects play a very important part. So the quantity of these plants would decrease drastically, causing millions of people to starve. Oxygen is another worry. About a third of the world's oxygen is produced by terrestrial plants. And with the quantity of these plants plummeting, so would the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere. Boom! Uh, take that one, humans. No insects, no food, and no air. The perfect recipe to get you all... Dropping like flies. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I will always love you. Error. Plan does not result in humanity dying. No. <laughs> no. No. No way. What could possibly save humans from no food and no air? Huh? Huh? What's the deal this time? Oh, so now we're simulating stuff on our own? Are we? Error. Humans can grow plants that are not dependent on insect pollination for oxygen production. Humans can also pollinate plants by hand and genetically engineer new crops. This solution would be highly expensive, but technically possible. Error, humans have technologies capable of cleaning water, so they would not need to rely on its self-cleaning capabilities. This solution would be highly expensive, but technically possible. Error, detritus would still degrade. Although the process would be longer, it would still happen without insects. The only real consequence that could not be avoided is the impact to ecosystems and the death of insectivore animals, such as birds, bats, and anteaters. Nope. I'm not killing all insects just for humans to survive and anteaters to die. Not worth it. Not at all. Hey guys, so at the risk of sounding like a broken record, I once again have no fucking idea what just happened. The whole SC doing her own thing. It's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. But I guess it worked out for the best? Now, you lumberwards have actually seen what a world without insects would be like. And I'm sure your capitalist asses don't want to pay so much money just to do the things that these lovely little guys do for free. So this was the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out my Instagram, The N2. You can make suggestions for my next plan there or leave them in the comments below. It's been a pleasure trying to slaughter your kind. And see you next time. And after that, hopefully, never again.